we looked into a, a Kruger National Park here in South Africa and thought it'd be a once in a lifetime opportunity to really like get away during this COVID lockdown time. Um, wanted to do something outdoors and naturey, something safe and, uh, you know, traveled halfway across the world to get here and, and it's been a great experience. I'm Dana Berenger from uh, South Carolina in the United States, and this is my mom, Eleanor Charlesworth from Griffin, Georgia in the United States. Hey guys, my name is Russ. I'm from North Carolina, United States. Uh, it's my first trip to South Africa. And I'm Preston. I'm from New York City, the Big Apple. We're on this trip together. Happy to be here. So it looks like you're enjoying the sunshine, the fresh air, the open vehicle game drives and the outdoor dining. And right now there's not many other people on safari. So how safe do you feel? And do you feel that you're at risk of COVID while traveling here? I feel very safe. I'm actually quite surprised at how um, everybody is cooperating. We wear our masks, uh, hand sanitizing, uh, we keep our distance. Um, uh, temperature checks, we're eating outside, we're, try we're all trying to respect each other um, to prevent any, f any further problems. So I feel very safe. I would do this in a heartbeat. Yeah, I, I feel actually safer here than I do back home in the United States. Because um, back home a lot of people aren't wanting to follow protocol. Um, it's not high on their priority list. Um, and here, you know, you, we're in an environment where it's the weather's fabulous. Um, there's so much to see. Um, we're in an open vehicle where you get that fresh air blowing in your face. Um, we get to sit outside and have some community um, during dinner, socially distanced, but still outside. And um, just being able to enjoy um, the, the safaris, the people, the company. Um, and, and right now, it's just my, my mother and I in, in, the, in the truck with our guide. And even if there was a few other people, I would feel just as safe because um, our guide wore his mask the entire time. We wore our masks and um, it was just probably one of the greatest experiences in my life. And I would do it all over again um, in the same situation. So from you know day one, leaving from North Carolina to a couple of stops throughout the course on the route to South Africa, um, everything was very safe easy. Um, so absolutely feel very, very safe throughout the entire traveling. Um, and of course, once we land in South Africa, um, same thing. I mean, the social distancing procedures and the COVID procedures all taken very seriously. Um, so there's not a doubt in my mind that, um, you know, that it's something that people should not be worried about moving forward. Yeah, I totally agree. I, I think all these airlines are talk, taking the proper procedures and precautions and even still, you know, a week later after we first landed, feel safe here in South Africa, especially being outdoors here uh, among nature. Um, the only danger I feel really is, is being attacked by a lion, but that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> So would you recommend South Africa as a destination? Absolutely. I think this is one of the best choices I've made. Um, I, I don't feel endangered when I'm in South Africa. I've never felt frightened here or in fear of anything going to happen to me. Everybody's been so helpful and sweet. and I think everybody should visit South Africa. Yeah, and even in these times right now, I know a lot of people talk about this, don't visit South Africa because of COVID. And, you know, we're, we're all going to get better, and there's less people here that have ever gotten um, COVID than back home in the United States. So I, like, I, I would come here in a heartbeat um, over going to some places in in America. Um, it's a, it's a an amazing place that I think everybody should be able to visit if, if you're able. One of the reasons we chose South Africa is because we we feel that. Um, the cases are under control here, that the company or the country is really op starting to open back up. We flew into Johannesburg and, um, you know, 
the city shuts down a little bit earlier, but that hasn't really impaired our ability to go out, walk around and, and go out to eat. Different restaurants are open. And, and w another reason we chose this trip is um, Kruger National Park, which is completely outdoors um, with limited number of people and wide open spaces. And so we feel totally safe. And so I don't think um, really there's any challenges to, to coming traveling, you know, out here and into a national park. This is the perfect opportunity to see uh, the wonders of the world, the outside world. Yeah, ab absolutely. During, during the pandemic where, as Princeton mentioned, there's not a, entirely a lot of people traveling right now. So um, you get that, that social distancing um, and, you know, every place that we've been to um, seems to be very serious and on top of those types of things. The airlines have actually been very helpful um, they were very helpful at the desks if we forgot to fill out a form um, or anything like that because um, the lady actually said we just want people to be able to travel and feel safe. So um, it was very comforting um, having people out there that really just want us to be able to travel and, and see the world that we want to um, even during the, these times which it, it's not unsafe, it's, it's just different right now.